Hey everybody, uh, we're going to do a custom profile, uh, fascia family, uh, so we're not going to use any of the Revit out of the box profiles, we're going to use a profile that wraps around under the soffit. So I've given you the profile, so I, I just open it and I'll load it in. I could load it in directly from the insert tab, uh, load family, but I'm going to open it so you can see it. So go to where you saved your profile, if you're watching this from outside of our class, then you need to use your own profile. All right, hip fascia soffit, open. Now you can see the profile, this is the fascia. Uh, this is the roof fascia height, so the revit height of the fascia. And this is the roof overhang. So when you placed your roof, the overhang dimension you gave it, okay? And we have a drip here of 12 millimeters and with the Profile is set to a depth of 12 millimeters. Uh, you can change any of these as you need them. Uh, our roof, in this case, the fascia depth is 179 and a half millimeters, and our overhang is 250 millimeters. So it's already set. Now I'm just going to load that into the project. Go to our architecture tab uh, under the roof menu, go to roof fascia. Uh, the default fascia is there. We'll, we'll duplicate that. So edit type. Duplicate, we'll just call this project fascia. Okay, enter. And that's the profile that's in it already. That's what we need to change. So go to the drop down menu and find ours. Ours was called fascia soffit. Hip, sorry, there it is, hip fascia soffit. 179.5 and 250 soffit. I'm going to change the material. Uh, just for now, we'll just put it as a black plastic. Okay, and okay. Okay. Now, you need to zoom in and select the edge of the roof. And you can do the other side, similarly. And escape, escape. I'm going to do the, uh, the gable edges separately. And you'll see why in a moment. So we do again the same command, roof fascia, pick, pick. Now you see that it doesn't join. That's the reason we, uh, but this profile, because it goes underneath the soffit, it doesn't join to our uh, fascia at the front. So escape, escape, select that fascia, modify mitering, and the end of the fascia uh, turns blue. We can either change it to be horizontal, or we can change it to be perpendicular. Uh, for this one, perpendicular works. So I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay. I'll go and create uh, the same on the other side. Roof. Fascia. Pick the edges. Escape, escape. Select the fascia. Modify mitering. Change it to perpendicular. Pick the edge. Rotate. Pick the edge. Okay. Escape, escape. Now, one of your eaves ends, and you can go to, again. You can go to the architecture tab and select roof fascia, or you just select the fascia and create similar using this tool here. Okay. Now this time though, we're going to pick the edge of the fascia itself. Okay. And escape, escape, select that. Turn and um, your little drag dot there. Just pull it out and rotate till you can see the other edge properly and just pull that into the edge. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing at each of the corners. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to do it on this side, okay? Pick the edge, escape, escape, grab this off at the, the fascia, pull it out, turn it a bit until we can see the underside of the other fascia, and there we are, meet the line, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fascia on top of this edge here to return it in, but we're going to need it to be higher because this edge is going to need to go up and join into that uh, soffit over there. So I'll go down to my family menu in the project browser, down to profiles, and hip fascia soffit is the name of our profile. Click the drop down. I'm going to right click on the existing profile and, and duplicate it. And it's going to add on 70 millimeters, let's say, so that'd be 249, okay?
49.5. My num lock was not selected there. Okay, I get rid of that too. So we'll click on that to edit it. And we'll change our fascia height to 249.5. You could be more precise than that, but uh, this will do. I know that's high enough. Okay, I just added 70 millimeters on and click OK. Now, go back to our roof fascia. Click a new, uh, create a new one. This time, edit type again and duplicate. And project fascia 2 is fine. Okay, and click OK and change the profile to the one we just created, 249.5. Okay, and we made this one 70 millimeters higher. So with the in the in the properties panel, we have a vertical profile offset. I'm going to set that up 70 millimeters so that the bottom of the the fascia will be at the same level as the existing fascia. And I'm going to pick the edge. Escape, escape. Select it. Pull the dot across till it meets the wall. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Roof. Fascia, select the edge, escape, escape. Oh, that time I forgot to put in the, the vertical offset. See what happens? So I can do that retrospectively. So select the fascia into your properties, uh, vertical profile offset, change that from zero to 70 and apply. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull that across the wall like I did the other one. Might need to change the rotation. Okay, excellent. Now what I need to do is just join all those so that they don't have those lines. So join in your modify tab. Select them all to join to each other until there's no lines left visible. Okay, so now you have a closed fascia soft. Now you could use a different profile with, with a, a contour or something on the, the fascia itself, but the process is the same. Join. Join, join, and go around the side, join, and there it is, escape, escape. So we have a fascia wrapping around the soffit all the way around the gable and underneath. Okay, hope that was helpful.